Hey there everyone, my name's Chris, welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at some pretty interesting uh, Molly gear. These are the hydration carrier pouches from First Beer. As you can see, we've got two versions here. We've got the one and the two litre. And we, uh, they're pretty much the same with the exception of the actual size. And uh, one is with the 6.9 attachment system. And this one here, the one litre is with the 6.12. Apart from that, the way they're put together is exactly the same. So we're just going to be taking a bit of a look at them, how they're put together, what makes some good pouches. All right, so like I mentioned, we got the two liter version and the one liter version here, but apart from the size and the attachment systems, the, uh, the actual construction is exactly the same. So we're gonna put the two liter one to the side, and just focus on the, on the smaller version here. The good thing about this one straight away is obviously very compact size, and um, there's a lot of small plate carriers around these days. And uh, having a hydration pouch to fit that uh, without uh, overhanging uh, or standing above at the top on the on your back panel is good. And uh, also, of course, you could fairly easily mount this actually on your uh, on your side, on like a chest rig, on the cummerbund of your plate carrier, um, that sort of thing. Even on a belt, possibly because it is. I say very short, and that is handy. Starting off on the outside, basic construction material as with pretty much everything from the first beer uh, modular pocket lineup. It's a 500D Cordura, lighter than, much lighter than a thousand. Um, makes much more sense, you know, you've still got plenty of durability, but you shave off loads of weight. Nice and, uh, you know, nice and compact and slimline, not bulky. And uh, when you've got a whole complete setup of, of this uh, this type of pouch with the, the lighter materials, it, it really makes a difference. And you, you don't need like scales or like a really precise way of measuring to tell the difference in the, in the weight of this versus your sort of old school stuff with uh, with all the webbing and the thousand in here. It's really noticeable just in the hand. You know, these feel ridiculously light. It's almost like there's nothing. Like it. Yeah, you still have that durability. So like I say, 500 denier. Because this is the multicam, obviously we've got cry precision fabrics. And uh, up here we've got two molly rows worth of uh, Velcro for all your name tapes, patches, uh, allergies, blood types, that kind of thing. And it's color matched, which is, again is another uh, product from cry. Really good uh, color match on the camo there. On the front, if you wanted to attach more pouches, You've got 612 laser cuts, and uh, they act basically just the same as the webbing strips did on your old PAL systems. You can attach any older molly pouch onto those, or just indeed hook things like uh, pens or cam lights or whatever it is you might be into them. It can be quite handy for that. On the bottom, we've got a drainage opening here. Just gonna make sure that uh, if you do have any water getting inside of this, it's all going to drain out. It's not going to be sloshing around inside there, weighing you down. At the top, this is going to be your main opening for your actual hydration tube to pass through. Although obviously you could actually use a, you could actually use any of these 612 cuts to effect egress of your hydration tube. Um, or of course, because it's a zip at the top, you could just uh, leave it in that sort of a configuration and allow your hydration tube to pass out that way, whatever the, uh, the user desires really. Zip itself, it doesn't actually have any branding on it, but uh, based on my other kit, I, would, you know, I can safely say it's probably a YKK zip, really good quality, chunky, strong metal. Zip pulls on there, and then you've got paracord with these plastic tabs, nice and easy to grab and actually open and close the zip itself. On the back, you've got your 612 Velcro tabs secured in with this edging tape here. It's, all the stitching throughout is really nicely done, really neat. In, in all the other areas, the stitching is really nicely done. It's, it, it's uh, reinforced where it needs to be, uh, but they've kept it to a minimum where possible to save on weight. Inside's really simple, uh, you know, it's just a space, that's all you need, that's all you need for carrying a hydration bladder. Um, the, the two litre is actually very slightly different in this respect. 
Oh, it's the one that I have here. This one features, uh, here, here you can see the first beer labels, made in the USA, as these uh, products, everything from first beer, fully made in the US. There's the actual product name. And this is a strip of 612 material. And uh, you can use that, fold it in on itself, and you'll be able to hang a hydration bladder from that. Don't have that on the one litre, but uh, I can't see why you need it, to be honest. You know, you're know, going to be probably cramming the uh, the bladder itself in there fairly tightly anyway, as, uh, as I'll demonstrate in a minute. Here you can see the, uh, that's the inside, that's the loop portion of the 612 Velcro system. That's what your actual tabs on, on the pouch inside your vest platform. This stuff sticks onto here. Sort of a, it's not just a flat pouch, as you can see on the base here, it actually opens up like so. It'll, if it's empty, it'll sit flat and closed. Then once you put something inside, it's going to open out like that for you. And, uh, so fitting a bladder, I've got a source, one litre hydration bladder here, very nice little bit kit. And it is a tight fit, it's a very close fit. But that is not a problem, that just means it's not going to bounce and slosh around on you. Because that is not what you want. So there we go. Then we would, as an example, say, feed our hydration tube through this open just here. Click that in. Close up the zip. Try and make it central because I'm OCD like that. And there we go, that would be good to go then. Just put your water in it and you are sorted. Run that wherever you like, mount it uh, on your back, on your side, wherever you want. Really, uh, you know, that is an extremely neat, tidy little package I mean, com compared to a lot of other, you know, the three litre was obviously a standard for a long time and that is a, <clears throat> that's a lot more compact, a lot more versatile for when you don't need very large amounts of water that is going to do the job extremely nicely. Now options wise, like I say, you've got the one litre here, I've shown you the two litre, there's also a three litre available, and they can all be purchased in the Multicam. You can get them in Coyote Brown, in Ranger Green, and in Black. I'll put a link down in the description box below for to the First Beer web store. There are various other stores we can pick up this stuff. Um, Op Tactical, SKD have it, uh, DSG Arms, they're, they're my usual places, but First Beer themselves have the widest selection and you can browse their entire catalogue on that website. So overall guys, yeah, if you've been following this channel a while, you'll have seen lots of First Beer stuff reviewed and yet again, another well-designed product. My only gripe, the only thing personally I can think of uh, would maybe to have some sort of a garage like in uh, in in this sort of area, something you could stow away these zips in, so that when you're running around, they're not flapping about. Uh, but I mean, you, you can fix that in two seconds with a piece of tape or anything. So minor gripe, but you know nothing is perfect, and that's you know that's just life. So they, that is, if that's the only problem you've got, then you know happy days essentially. So how it goes. If you want to see more reviews, more first beer kit, check out uh, the Facebook page for the channel. Put a link in the description again. Uh, consider subscribing. There'll be more reviews like this to come. There's plenty more on the channel already. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.